Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great Thursday. And I'd like to just talk a little bit more about this blessing of the prayer for Jerusalem. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had an experience where you got into a taxi cab and the taxi driver shared with you a Devar Torah? Something about the Torah portion of the week. Okay, if so, let me ask you this question. Where were you? The answer, I'm guessing, was Jerusalem. Have you ever had an experience, you probably haven't because I don't know if you've lived there or not, but have you ever had an experience where someone came to repair your washing machine and that person who came to repair your washing machine was a Torah scholar? I have had that experience. You know where I had that experience? Only one place. Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is a place of spirituality. Now, in the Torah, there is a commandment, there is a mitzvah that says three times a year, when? Passover, Shavuot, Sukkot, the three festivals, every Jewish person was required, didn't matter where you lived, you could live in the south, in, in Eilat, which wasn't really a place back then, or you could live in the Negev, or you could live in the Golan Heights, or you could live anywhere in Israel, wherever you were, there was a commandment in the Torah three times a year to come to Jerusalem for a period of time, a few days during the festival. Why? Why would the Torah command such a thing? Why was that such a critical part? One of the commandments in the Torah, one of the 613. And the answer is because if I want to live a life of spirituality, if I want to live a life of depth and meaning and connection to Hashem in the most rich and full way as a Jew that I can, I can't do that unless I'm connected to Jerusalem, unless my soul and my body and my essence is part of the experience of Yerushalayim. So that's the reason why at the time when there was a temple in Jerusalem, it was a requirement on the three festivals, and not only on the three festivals, but other times throughout the year, to come to Jerusalem. It was the gathering place of all Jews. It was the Miami Beach of its time, or the Catskills, or whatever. But the truth is, it still is. And anyone who knows Jerusalem knows you go to Jerusalem. One thing's for sure, I don't care who you are, I promise you that when you're in Jerusalem, you're going to bump into people that you know. People that you know from home, people that you know from college, people that you know from somewhere. Because all Jews, in some way or another, are connected to this place, Yerushalayim. And you have to be. I'm sorry, but you have to be. And you know that. We all know that. Why? Because our souls yearn to connect to Hashem. And that full connection is only possible when I have that access to the spirituality, to the wellspring, to the holiness of Yerushalayim. Okay, so we'll talk about that more a little bit as we go on, but this is really why it's so important, why we pray three times a day for the welfare, the development, the renaissance, the rebuilding of Yerushalayim physically and spiritually.